Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now for those of you who don't know me, my name is Elizabeth and I am an eventer from Perth, Western Australia and today I am bringing you along to a very special video for Equestrian in the Park 2020 which is held here on the Swan River foreshore at Burswood Park. Now for those of you who don't know what Equestrian in the Park is, it is one of the biggest events on the eventing and show jumping calendar and it is one of the last events of the season. So today I'm bringing you guys along to the course walk which is held the day before the event. So let's go check out what the riders will be faced with tomorrow. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's like we're done before we even started so if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I'm leaving us. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Hope you believe in us. Please don't give up on me. At least give me a try. Cause you're the best thing, the best thing. So that was just the course for the Grand Prix class. Now let's go walk the diamond class course. As I'm walking to your place, I'm shaking. I am picturing the worst in my mind. I cannot stand losing you. No, I will fight. Maddie Gillen, who has competed at this event twice before and who we usually see competing at the three star level in eventing. So, Maddie, after walking the course this afternoon, what are your initial thoughts? Look, the course is amazing. The venue is just incredible, being right near Optus Stadium and the Crown. The going is a little more undulating than we've seen in previous years, which I think, particularly for the show jumps, it'll really be a test of whose horses are careful and whose are not, hoping mine are. And there's a couple of tricky lines in the Diamond class and the Grand Prix class that I've had a look at. So it'll be really interesting. I think it'll really test the brave cross country horses, but as well as the ones that are super careful. So Maddie, do you think that there's any particular jumps that are gonna cause a bit of problems for some riders tomorrow? Yep, so the Diamond class, which is set at a meter five, I think that fence 16 to 17 may cause a few issues. So 16 is a car and you have the option of either jumping sort of the bonnet or the tray of the ute. And then there's a skinny fence after it and it's a little bit of a moving three. So what tends to happen if you get to a skinny and you're a little away, it's very easy for the horses just to scoot out to the left or the right. So you really need to make sure that you hit fence 17 with enough canter so then you can get the three and you, you're at the base of the skinny before you jump it. And then in the Grand Prix, there's a chest fence to two brushes, which are right near the Platinum Lounge. So it won't be helpful if you've got, you know, by that time of the day, people have had a few drinks. They're leaning over the fence and you pretty much need to ride the fence so that you can get those two brushes. So I think in terms of the Grand Prix class, that'll be where it'll catch out a few of the more greener combinations. Now, I believe that you do have two horses entered for mm -hmm. tomorrow. So if you could tell us a bit more about them and how you've prepared for equestrian in the park this year. Yep, so I've got two horses in the diamond class. So number 38 and number 55. So my first ride is a horse called GPH Colorado, who's a thoroughbred by Blackfriars. He is only eight years old. He's been eventing for two years. So this is his second season of eventing. I got him straight off the track. He's really brave, really great cross country. He's, um, sometimes he's not so careful, but in the last couple of months since he's moved up to two star, he's been jumping fantastically. So, so my second horse is another thoroughbred, GPH Valet de Caro. 
he has a fancy French name because I thought when he goes to France I'll be able to pronounce it. No one here can, but that's okay. So he's 11, he's jumped up to two and a half star level, so sort of three star dressage and show jumping, but two star cross country. He is a little more feisty than my first horse, so don't be surprised if as I'm cantering around you see a couple of bucks, <laughs> and a few pig roots, but really careful as well and really great jumper. So very excited about cantering both of those horses around. So this week we've had Matt Gasky over, which has been amazing. So I've had some lessons and then I actually show jumped them this morning. So Friday morning, gave them a little tune up, jumped some bigger, wider oxes. So hopefully awesome. they'll be ready and rearing to go tomorrow. All right, awesome. so good luck, Maddie. All the best for tomorrow. Thank you. Cross your fingers for me. <laughs> We are here. It is the day of Equestrian in the Park 2020. It's currently very early on Saturday morning and we've just snuck in before the lines that are queued up out the front. They are expecting a few thousand people here today. So let's go check out all the different areas and marquees that the spectators can watch this amazing event. So that was just a look at all of the different areas that the spectators can view equestrian in the park this year. I think no matter where you look, there is a beautiful backdrop of either Optus Stadium, the Swan River foreshore, or Crown Towers in the background. But over this side, we do have the warm up. We have a show jump over here. So this is where a few of the riders prior to going into the arena can warm up their horses. And then there's also another second warm up arena over in there. So let's go check it out. So right here is the tunnel where the riders go from their warm up straight up to the gate here before they enter the arena. It kind of gives them a taste of all of the spectators that are around and I'm probably going to anticipate that their nerves would be running wild waiting to go in here. So we're currently watching the diamond class here at Equestrian in the park and we are up to rider number six. It believes to be causing quite a few problems for a few combinations but fingers crossed everyone gets around safely and let's watch the next rider go around.
have my coach with me, Sean Dillon, who we just saw go around the equestrian in the park diamond class course. Sean, who are you riding today? I was lucky enough to be riding LP Bentayga, who's owned by a wonderful friend of mine, Penny Oates, who has only just recently bought the horse. So it was a, you're wonderful to get into the ring today. Um, West, it's still a very new partnership. Um, so yeah, awesome. very happy. Yeah, he was absolutely amazing around that course. And I guess, how did it feel competing at Equestrian in the Park this year with such a big crowd? Oh, it's, it's just something you can't explain. We're very lucky. I think this is something you get to do when you jump in the Longines <laughs> circuit. But yeah. uh, I'm actually quite glad I took um, Bentley, as we call him, for a little ride this morning. And that helped me get the heebie-jeebies out as much as him <laughs> um, riding course. amongst the lovely Burswood. Now I know that ride was on another person's horse, but you've got two of your own coming up. Can you tell us a bit more about them? Yep, I've got my um, homebred warm blood cross Kargodich and uh, Wonderwall 1. Um, Kargodich is doing the diamond class and Wonderwall 1 will be in the, uh, the Grand Prix. Oh. Oh. All right, well good luck Sean and have the best ride this afternoon. Thanks so much Liz. Now we've got one of our junior riders, Bella. with me who's just competed at her first ever equestrian in the park. Bella, how do you feel? Yeah, really good. I'm super happy with how Jumper went. Just really good experience for our first year. Awesome. And Bella, how old are you? 16. 16. Absolutely incredible. I think Jumper wants to be in the video as well. So we did see that you had one down, but I think you made the good decision of jumping the Joker. Now, how high is the Joker? Um, so the Joker is 15 centimeters above the class height. So yeah, he's yeah, really good. And you cleared that, which I think cancels out your refusal. So you went clear. Yeah. Oh, how awesome. So awesome job, Bella. Congratulations on your first ever equestrian in the park and jumping clear. And fingers crossed you do get through into the jump off as well. Thank and you. Can't wait to see you next year as well. Thank you. It is so inspiring to see riders of all ages competing at this amazing event. You know, from all different backgrounds, all over WA, as well as some riders from over east. But it is so motivating for me, you know, to work really hard with Enzo. And I guess it's an event we all aspire to compete at as eventers and show jumpers. So now we're just going to go back to the arena and watch a few more riders go around in the diamond class.
G, who is only 16 and one of the youngest riders here at Equestrian in the park. Now, Chloe, how does it feel to be competing against some of the well-seasoned riders? Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, eventing the park is my favourite event. It's just amazing. And some of the riders, um, Mike D'Agostino, Matt Gassie, Kate Ingham, they're all amazing. And it just feels absolutely awesome to be competing against them. So. Now, Chloe, I believe that you have two horses here competing this weekend. Tell us a bit more about them. Uh, so my main one is a little brown pony. Uh, she's about 14.3. It's uh, Tia, or Totem Limited Edition, as most people know her. Uh, she's an Andalusian riding pony cross, and she currently competes at One Star in Eventing. Um, she's so much fun to ride. Like So many people have said to me, I just get a bigger horse that can do boss stuff, but she's just like so incredible to ride. Um, and the other one is uh, Bars Open, and Juno is he's affectionately known as as well. Um, he's an off-the-track thoroughbred. Uh, he's nine years old. And uh, he's just started doing one star as well, so it um, be interesting to see how he goes today. And lastly, Chloe, how have you prepared both of your horses for this weekend? Well, there's a lot of preparation that goes into this event. Um, as you can see, it's not like anything else. Um, so I have, uh, I've done a lot of show jumping in my arena. I've just recently extended my arena, which is really exciting. Awesome. Um, and I went to Oakford Equestrian Centre as well, um, jumped heaps of skinnies. It's absolutely incredible there. So um, really good training opportunities there. And I also had a day at the beach as well which oh. is always nice okay. for, uh, for, yeah. yeah definitely well good luck this weekend Chloe Thanks all the best so much. <laughs> Thanks. So currently we are in the Platinum Lounge watching the last couple of riders go through for the Diamond Class before the very exciting and thrilling jump off. And I think the jump off is the top 10 riders in this class and currently there are four juniors in that top 10. So I'm sure everyone's going to be very competitive to try and win the class. But right now we've also got the commentators box behind me just here and the beautiful crown in the background. But let's go check out what the Platinum Lounge is all about and let's watch the jump off.
So that was just the lap of honor of all the riders that were in the diamond class. So congratulations to all of those riders who did end up with a placing. And of course, a big congratulations to Olivia Shaw, who's just won her third equestrian in the park. So right now I'm in one of the tents and I have Mara from Off The Track. Now Mara, can you tell us a bit more about Off The Track? Sure, so Off The Track um, is a program run within Racing and Wagering WA and we support and promote the use of Off The Track horses once they finish racing and um, all different equestrian pursuits, oh, including eventing like here today. Awesome. I believe that you guys have launched a new Off The Track retraining program, is that right? Yes, just recently we um, we have the facility that was the old Touchstone Farm out of North Dandelup. So we have um, a facility of paddocks and barns and stables and an arena there. So the horses um, come through from retiring from their um, racing career and then they go there, have a break, whatever they need, get checked and then they will be assigned to a retrainer. We've got four official retrainers including Mike D'Agostino oh, yes. and Tegan Cook who are here today um, and Tyler Shu at AMT Equestrian as well. So as you guys may know, Enzo did race once. His race name was Memphis Beak, but now he is a retired racehorse and I have registered him to have an off the track passport. Now, Mara, can you tell us a bit more about the passport and how people sign up? Sure, it's super easy. You just visit our off the track WA website. At the top there, it says off the track WA passport. It has a little bit of information about the program. Register yourself an account. You can search your horse's name, either by their race name or their microchip if they're unnamed. Select them, submit your application with information like their stable name, what you use them for, and some pictures of their brand. Submit it, one of the team will check it, approve it, and um, get your horse ID certificate back to you. So thank you so much, Mara, for telling us a bit more about Off The Track. Now, if you guys do want to check out any of the Off The Track merchandise, initiatives, or anything like that, make sure that you check out the Off The Track website at offthetrackwa.com.au and make sure you check out their Instagram and Facebook pages as well. And so now they're letting all of the general public out onto the course to check out all of the jumps for themselves and then we'll be heading straight into the show jumping. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in, hold tight. So that is the show jumping class done. I feel like those jumps were absolutely massive and I could walk underneath them. I feel like they were taller than me, but now onto the big class of the day, the Grand Prix.
gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Liberty's on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground You You gotta understand That we get one chance, one chance
I can say to everyone is thank you so much for watching my Equestrian in the Park 2020 video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And all I can say is a big congratulations to Olivia Shaw, the winner of the Diamond class, and as well as Will Baxter for the winner of the Grand Prix class. So if you guys attended Equestrian in the Park this year, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you guys didn't, I look forward to seeing you guys next year and I'll see you on my next video very, very soon. Bye.